Hello and welcome back. My name is Excalibur, and this is Desolate. We've picked up just a short distance away from our usual starting area, as there seem to be a couple of problems with the previous build of a game where certain sounds were missing and other such. I was just starting to get really curious and wondering what was going on with the game when I found that Steam was actually, in fact, downloading the update for us in the background which was causing me some lag and jerkiness while I was trying to play the game. So impressively the devs have already fixed the problems which I was just about to start having issue with before I even had a chance to have an issue with them. I must admit the devs so far have been working literally tirelessly to try and keep the game in the best playable state possible. So. Yep, yeah, good on you devs. Fixed everything that could have been an issue before it even became an issue. And as to my plan, I was currently in the process of heading down the main train track which follows along the side of the workbench area. As I normally spawn in and just finding out what was over that direction and also completing the objective over here to the western side. Oasis Conglomerate. My watcher told me about the Oasis. A safe place in this island hell, but in order for them to let me in I need a token from the old train station. Find the Spark train station in sector C7. So that's our current goal and so we'll be following the train track as far as it takes us. I'm also just curious as to what might be at the end of this. Currently I'm just tossing a few items around. I need to source out my weight as usual. Still not sure if that strange metallic breathing noise is an actual creature. Or if it's just a sound effect for the area overall. From what the game's tossed at me so far, I'm really not sure what to make of anything I do or don't hear. Got numerous uh, bits and bobs which we could do with dismantling when we get the chance. Not going to carry everything around because, as we've seen so far, it's not that beneficial and is highly likely that I will collect more of the same type of items as we go through. Don't need any of these, juggle all this, let's see. Seems like the gun damage has had an increase, I'm pretty sure I saw something along those lines in the patch notes, but that seems a lot stronger than I remember. Pretty sure last time it was more in the 200 odd region, whereas now it's in the 495 for Stinger and 315 for our pistol 58 times 8 for our mm, I guess call it a shotgun, scattergun of some sort music is really ramping up in my ears and making me curious slash cautious let's see in the skills department we're almost at the next level and the next thing I need is this one man's trash so I can start dismantling items for scrap, so let's see if we can find something really nearby, just kill it and start making some scrap. So all of those things just dumped by the campfire should persist for at least a short while. Knowing my luck there won't be anything for miles for me to kill them. Speak the devil. Wow, I just blew that thing to pieces single shot with the stinger was enough to stop that quacker, 350 plus, what, 350 health. So it in essence did in excess of us in damage with one hit. The stinger is now incredibly powerful whereas before it was doing about 100 damage per hit or thereabouts. If I remember correctly anyway. So we might as well cook this while we're here. 
and jump to our skills menu and take this perk immediately. Now let's collect all this garbage which dumped on floor. Grab, 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 grab. Creepy grab hand. Now can we scrap everything? Recycle it. Yes, we can. So Mark 1 was a basic pistol, 250. Might as well unload this. Oops. That is pistol ammo, so we'll be able to use that. Recycle that. Microchip, no option to recycle this. Stinger, we're definitely keeping. So now it's actually worth using the pistol, which was doing absolutely pathetic armor. Oh. Classic damage earlier. I'm sure, there's going to be a few moments of me just uh, sorting out my inventory for the time being, but we will get moving very shortly. So I've collected quite the mass of random objects and oddities on my journey so far, and now I actually have the useful and finally box of scrap I can actually turn into usable scrap which makes sense circular bead is not scrappable interesting Baston is far superior to that might as well get rid of the crowbar now or just repair it which was not what I intended uh, anyway oh, so we have two shotguns 65 times 8 and 58 times 8. So we'll unload that one. And we will recycle it properly. Can we recycle these? Yep. Alright, so if it's used on a stack of items, it does actually recycle both of them. Let's keep that in mind. Both of them, or all of them, I suppose I should say. Expensive to repair that, I suppose. I think it's probably worth it, just about. 200 damage per swing now, that's very good. Right, so, as you would expect, the less damage the weapon or item is, the less it requires to actually fully repair it. Less scrap it requires to fully repair it, that is. Now let's reload a couple of our weapons. And we are good to go. Let's see what's our weight up before we start running around. Don't need to get rid of anything else. I suppose we should get rid of the camera as I've also got the baton as a backup melee weapon if I need one. Let's test this pistol out while we're moving. Oof, yep, instant kill. Much more powerful now. And at range. Boom. Two shots. Still not dead. Now he is. Hopefully that wasn't somebody I actually needed to talk to. I know, it was just a dodger. I knew that all along that I was planning to very specifically kill him from the beginning. Honest. Steal your junk. What's this? Locked to safe. Let's give this another go. One shot. Movie bed is very specifically blocking his head from my shots. There we go. Another shotgun by the look of this. What have you got? Another pistol. Now we're way down again. I definitely need to keep on upgrading my... weight as a related perk, as... it does make a hell of a difference being able to carry more.
somebody walking directly above us. Slightly distracting slash disturbing to hear all of a sudden. Don't want the dog tail, don't care about it. Recycle vast, recycle this, let's see. It's my currently equipped one of us the new one we've just found, unload it. And then recycle it. When I've actually got more weight allowance to my name, I'll start considering carrying around multiple weapons of the same type to have backups available. Not too bothered about carrying the emulsifier, it's mostly used for six stacking go. The emulsifier so far so seems to be, oh, what's that, crawling along the distance. I definitely saw something move. I'm like 99.999999% certain I saw something walk around at the edge of this area. Hmm. I guess I was just imagining it. Right, let's see, where are we up to? There's a new item to get rid of. Let's sort things by weight so we've got a better idea of what's taking up the space. We have a lot of leather. Can we actually craft any clothing or armor? No. So we need to learn how to craft some armor to be able to get rid of some of that. I'm assuming that leather armor will be a basic form of protection. Create a couple of salves because they seem to be quite useful. Chieftain's one, mailbox dead, search this ready. Overweight again. See a shovel. Let's get rid of Asa. Thick leather. Hmm, should I just get rid of a baton for the time being? Because my space is quite limited at the moment. Not too sure what I'm doing with these chemicals, so I'm just going to chuck them because I haven't found a use for them yet. So look in our crafting menu before we permanently discard them. Yeah, we don't seem to be able to do anything particularly interesting with them at all. Not the moment, anyway. So it seems we're pretty much good to go now. We've got nine kilograms of weight to play around with, which should be more than enough for the time being. Oh, nearly... Wow, 1,000 health. I'll probably explain why we were taking so much more damage earlier. Someone there? Get out nope, of here! Nobody here. Where's that guy go? Where's that Down you go. Yeah, I take it. We really need to source out our weight allowance so we can just loot things without having to worry about how much it's going to weigh every two seconds. Got stingers and all, almost out of ammunition. Pistol we can reload with the few bits we've found. I'll switch over to the shotgun for heavy rain counters for the time being. So it's almost as effective as the stinger. Potentially more so. 
What's this in here? Toolbox, right. Take all of that. Couple more boxes to search for. Good God, the amount of loot is insane. And thing is that most of the loot is usable in some way or another, so I truly begrudge just leaving it behind. So we should unload our one and recycle our one. Right, let's see. Whoops, let's go into equipment. And put you in there. All these sticks don't care about sticks, we'll get rid of those quickly. Cycle, cycle. Smoking pipe, random. Soy extract, don't care. Scar, mess with you, don't know. Eat this orange. Learn how to make a tuna sandwich, always useful. Always best with salad cream as well. Though, people with odd taste may say otherwise. And we're almost ready to move. Just get rid of this tape card. Bought carrying it around for the time being. Wires can get lost since... A kilogram's worth of wires is a hell of a lot of wires, I can tell you that for a fact. Right, so where are we up to now? We're not wait. We're at 42, that's not too bad, let's go. I might have to start skipping collecting certain items and objects if it's going to keep on dragging me down and stopping me every two seconds. We do seem to be running a hell of a lot faster than we used to. Though, if I remember correctly from the patch notes, running backwards, or well, walking backwards, is tangibly slow enough. Let's reload this fully before we hop this animal in the head. Actually, I'll just, I'll just uh, run up and stab us instead. Oops, here we go. So I'm being a bit too frugal with my ammunition at the moment. I should actually keep it for things which might cause me massive trouble. As I doubt the dogs are going to be the... ...going to be the biggest problems that I have in this game. Seems like two of the creatures are fighting over. It's one of those systems which I like to see in games, where the wildlife and enemies can actually interact with each other in negative as well as positive manners. It always just adds a little bit more realism and life to the game. 